Welcome to Message Ops Getting Started with Microsoft 365 Tutorial. This is part two of the series. In this tutorial, we will explain the benefits of using the Microsoft products you use on a daily basis and how the cloud enhances their features. With all this discussion about the cloud, you may wonder what will change when you move to Office 365 or if there are any tasks you need to perform. You may also wonder if the change will affect your workflow. Generally, when you move to Office 365, you will continue working how you currently work, but you'll have more choices than you did before. With Office 365, you continue to use Microsoft Office with Microsoft Services. As a result, we often hear that people don't even know they're using cloud services. While there are some differences, for the most part, you'll continue to use Office the way you did before. Office 365 works best with Microsoft Outlook 2010, but it also works with Microsoft Office Outlook 2007. One of the most popular features in Outlook is the ability to look up colleagues' free, busy information and send them meeting invitations. This ensures that they are free at the proposed meeting time. You can integrate this functionality with other Office 365 services. For example, you can send a link online meeting request to your colleagues, asking them to meet you in a link online session. Outlook and Microsoft SharePoint Online work together, so you can post contacts to the SharePoint Online and use them in Outlook. You can also publish documents and other details to Outlook from SharePoint Online. Microsoft PowerPoint lets you publish PowerPoint presentations to SharePoint Online so you can share them with colleagues and create slide libraries that you can use to automatically create presentations. You can also upload PowerPoint presentations to Link Online where hundreds of users can view your presentations in real time. Microsoft Word and SharePoint Online work well together. SharePoint Online allows you to check out documents to edit them to prevent others from changing the same copies. You can then check in the documents to allow others to edit them. If you make a mistake or prefer a different version, you can revert to a previous version all without leaving Microsoft Word. Office 365 lets you open SharePoint lists in Microsoft Excel spreadsheets where you can use advanced calculations to update information and then post it back to SharePoint Online. Link Online works with SharePoint Online, Outlook, and other presence-enabled applications to let you know in real time when colleagues are online. If you urgently need to talk to people who are offline or are busy, you can flag their accounts in Link 2010 and receive a notification as soon as they become available. Many Microsoft Office application features are designed to work with SharePoint and SharePoint Online. For example, you may have experienced problems with version control, where you're editing one of several copies of a document. With colleagues editing multiple copies, it's hard to consolidate changes into a single master copy. You can easily solve this problem using Microsoft Word and SharePoint Online, as you'll see in this demonstration. Access a recently opened file that resides on the SharePoint site. Do a basic edit to the file and save your changes. Point out the most recent version and display the version note. Do a basic edit to your file and save the changes. The version comment you created here shows up here you can easily roll back to a previous version. As demonstrated, Microsoft 365 works in the same manner as the Microsoft productions you're familiar with. Migrating to the cloud only enhances your productivity and connectivity. In our next tutorial, we will discuss how to get Microsoft 365 up and running in your workspace. For more tutorials, please visit www.messageops.com.